subpopulations. Subpopulations are a concept used to define a group of respondents based on certain variables from the survey or questionnaire. Respondents can be selected based on survey answers or combinations of multiple survey answers from one or more questions. Subpopulations can be used to run cross-tabulations on questions or can be used as response filters. There are five main areas of subpopulations. List gives you an account of, of all your existing subpopulations. Create gives you the ability to create basic subpopulations. Advanced gives you the ability to create advanced subpopulations where you would combine one or more variables using conditional logic. Nested subpopulations gives you the ability to interlock one or more variables into a new banner. And category gives you the ability to create groups of subpopulations into new banners. First, let's take a look at basic and simple subpopulations. When creating a basic or simple subpopulation, it is used to define a fairly simple segment of people using one or more answers from one or more questions. If numerous answers or numerous questions are desired, the operator OR will be used. In our example, you first want to take the questions you would like to use and move them from the left pane into the right pane. Here we're going to first bring over gender and we're then going to bring over age. For gender I'm going to select males and for age, I'm going to select 18 to 35 year olds. Now, because this is a simple subpopulation, this means that the OR operator will be used, which means that this subpopulation will show anyone who is male or 18 to 35 years old. This brings over 1,197 people, and I'm going to type in males or 18 to 35 year old. Saving this brings the subpopulation into our list portion and you can see males or 18 to 35 year old people. Now let's take a look at advanced subpopulations. Advanced subpopulations are used to define a more advanced segment of people, usually using one or more answers from one or more variable. The user can choose between the operators OR, AND, or NOT. In our example, we're going to bring over gender and age. For gender, I'm going to select males, For age, I'm going to select between the ages of 21 to 35 years old. And I'm going to change the OR to become an AND. When I click on Calculate Population, you can see it brings over 95 people. And then for my name, I'm going to call it Males 21 to 35 years old. When I save that, in my list area you can see I now have a new subpopulation which is called males 21 to 35 years old. Now let's take a look at nested subpopulations. When you create a nested subpopulation it is a quick way to create different combinations of segments in a nested format by creating groups within groups. In our example, I'm going to nest gender within age. As my top layer, I'm going to bring over age. As my second layer, I'm going to bring over gender. 
for age, I'm going to select three groups, which are 18 to 25 year olds, 26 to 35 year olds, and 36 to 45 year olds. And then for gender, I'm going to select both. For my name, I'm going to call it gender within age. Then when I preview it, you can see it's going to show me six different combinations. We have males and females within 18 to 25 year olds, males and females within 26 to 35 year olds, and males and females within 36 to 45 year olds. When I save it, you can see I now have my third subpopulation created, which is my new nested subpopulation. Now, let's take a look at categories. Categories are used to display multiple groups of subpopulations within the same banner. In our example, let's now create a new category that contains both males and females who are 21 to 35 years old. In our first banner point, let's create females 21 to 35 years old. In our next banner point, let's bring over males who are 21 to 35 years old. We can call our heading 21 to 35 year old people. I can now save that and you can now see I have a new subpopulation which is 21 to 35 year old people and if you open this up you can see it contains both of my subpopulations, which are females 21 to 35 years old and males 21 to 35 years old. Now that takes us back to lists. You can now see that in my list of subpopulations, I have five different subpopulations that are being listed here. My first one is a category subpopulation that contains two of my other subpopulations, my females 21 to 35 years old and my males 21 to 35 years old. I have my individual advanced ones, so you can see I have my females 21 to 35 years old. I have another advanced one which is males 21 to 35 years old. I also have my nested subpopulation, which, is, which contains both gender and age and I have my regular simple subpopulation which contains both gender and age. For any one of my subpopulations if I decide to select it I then have the option to cross tabulate with, any, with all my other questions. When I click this you can now see that any question I open up in my survey contains that subpopulation that I crossed it by. So in my case, I opened up region, and you can see that I am crossing that by 21 to 35-year-old people, broken out by females versus males.